Latin America enjoyed a high profile at Cannes this year. Two films from Argentina and two pictures from two well-respected Brazilian directors were among the high profile offerings. One of those directors, Walter Salas, who made the critically acclaimed Central Station and the Motorcycle Diaries, was in Cannes with Line of Passage. Made pretty much without professional actors, it's a story set in Sao Paulo of four brothers living with their pregnant mother, trying to move ahead without resorting to a life of crime. In a way, you're giving an image of a film from Latin America, of young people, that's a bit different from what we've seen in the past. There is a stereotypical view, isn't there, of guns and violence? Yeah, yeah it, 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 somehow it happened that this is the road that was traveled by many filmmakers in Brazil and to show the gang stories and uh, interpreted as the story of a country. The gang stories in Brazil is a segment of the reality of Brazil, but a small segment. The great segment is working people trying to make a living, and, and they're having a very hard time at doing so. And this is where we should point, point the cameras at. Do you think it's a coincidence that there are quite a few Latin American films at, at the Cannes Film Festival this year? No, it's not. I think that, um, first, the canvas on which we can grab stories is very rich. Our reality changes every two days. You know, we're young country still in construction. Um, and on the other hand, as Daniela always points out, I mean, we're the first generation of, uh, of uh, filmmakers who can talk freely after many years of uh, military dictatorship. So there's this urge, this desire um, to talk about who we are, where we come from, where we're going to, and we have the possibility to do so.